Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are integers. Then for all natural numbers n, a minus b divides a to the power of n minus b to the power of n. Okay, now to start the proof, let's give ourselves two integers a and b. From here, we want to show for all natural numbers n, a minus b divides a to the n minus b to the n. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about all natural numbers, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to zero. That is, we want to show that a minus b divides a to the power of zero minus b to the power of zero. Now, to start, let me write out a to the power of zero minus b to the power of zero. Now we know that any number to the power of zero is just one. So a to the power of zero is one and b to the power of zero is one. One minus one is just zero. And zero is equal to a minus b times zero. So what does this tell us? It tells us that there exists an integer such that a minus b times that integer is equal to a to the power of zero minus b to the power of zero. And that's precisely what it means for a minus b to divide a to the power of zero minus b to the power of zero. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to zero. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number where this is true. The whole goal of the induction step is to show that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus one. So we want to show that a minus b divides a to the n plus one minus b to the n plus one. Okay, now to start, since a minus b divides a to the n minus b to the n, this means that there is some integer k such that a to the n minus b to the n is equal to a minus b times k. Okay, now let me write out a to the n plus 1 minus b to the n plus 1. Now, we know that a to the n plus 1 is equal to a to the n times a, and b to the n plus 1 is equal to b to the n times b. Now from here, we're going to subtract and add b to the n times a. So as you can see, we subtracted and added b to the n times a. Now from the first two terms, we can factor out an a. And from the last two terms, we can factor out a b to the n. Now we know that a to the n minus b to the n is equal to a minus b times k. So we're going to substitute a to the n minus b to the n for a minus b times k. And then notice we have two terms basically. And from these two terms, we can factor out a minus b. So as you can see, we have shown that a to the n plus one minus b to the n plus one is equal to a minus b times some integer. And this tells us that a minus b divides a to the n plus one minus b to the n plus one. So we have shown that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus one. So this completes the induction step. Since we have completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So we have shown for all natural numbers n, a minus b divides a to the n minus b to the n. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.